Hey guys, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for the month of October, and this is your mid-October 2020 love reading, Libras. Now, I want to start off by saying a uh, happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed your birthday. Hope you live to see many more. Um, this has been a crazy-ass freaking year, so I know a lot of people haven't really been able to enjoy, uh, enjoy their birthdays the way that they want to, um, which sucks. My birthday is next month, so <sighs> uh, it's going to be an interesting birthday. But anyways, um, so I just want to start by asking Spirit, what is your overall energy and love? Oh, yeah. I also want to let you guys know that I do have a special going on. You can get a one question emergency reading and it is nine dollars and I have other readings as well. OK, so what is the overall energy for my Libras this month? What is the Libras overall energy? Okay, so we are starting off with the Four of Pentacles, okay? So there's definitely something you guys are trying to hold on to, okay? Um, there's something or someone that you're very possessive over. Ah, have the lovers, okay? So there's definitely someone you really care for deeply that you're really trying to hold on to, okay? You do feel a very strong mutual connection with this person. We have the Hierophant here, so... You could be wanting a higher commitment with this person. You could be wanting marriage with this person. Maybe you just want um, some type of commitment from them, okay? Um, maybe this person has someone else and they have to pick between you and that other person, but you're definitely holding on to this person because you do value this person a lot. We have to pay the wands here. This person could be someone who's very immature, Um this could be someone who's very inexperienced when it comes to relationships and, and commitments. Um, this is someone you have a lot of passion for. This is someone that you're really feeling on a deep emotional connection, but you do see some immaturity in them, you know? So uh, let me be honest here. A lot of times when we're dealing with someone who don't want to give us a commitment, who's very immature, who has a little bit of commitment issues, we do tend to be kind of possessive. We do have this feeling of trying to hold on to them super tightly just because we don't feel that security with them. Whereas with someone that we feel more security with, we're not holding on to them as tightly. We kind of loosen up the grip because we feel secure. We don't feel like they're going anywhere. So, you know, just keep that in mind, okay? Seven of Wands here, okay? I'm going to explain why the Seven of Wands here because, you know, you're guarded, why is the seven of wands here? The eight of pentacles. I feel like with the seven of wands and the four of pentacles, right? They're they're both together, like they're right under each other. Is how it fell. You you're holding on to this person because you don't want to lose them and you want more with them. But you're also very guarded because you feel like you may possibly lose them. You know, so you're going into like defense mode and, and it's it's like this energy of like I will I will like fight, I will pop off on whoever for this person. You know, um the eight of pentacles, you feel like to be with this person is a lot of work. Cause this person has issues. You're not they're not really giving you what you want. And although you're defensive, you're very guarded because of that, you're still willing to put in the work to be with them. But you, you understand that to be with them is a lot of work, that it, it won't be easy. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles here. This is someone that you do, like, for the Ten of Pentacles in the Hierophant to be here, it's like this is someone that you do view as someone you want to marry. You know, you want to create a life with them. This is someone that you want to be your life partner. You want children. You want... The white pick offense, you want the all American dream. That's that's what you see with this person. But you are guarded because like I said, this person isn't giving you what you want. This person could also be giving you the impression that they're guarded. Obviously they have to be guarded if they're not giving you a commitment. That's usually the reason why. The King of Swords. So they could be someone who, you know, is very hard to read. Someone who doesn't really show much emotion. 
someone who doesn't wear their heart in their sleeve, someone who doesn't really tell you how they feel, they can come off very, you know, nonchalant, like they don't care, you know, very um cold, you know. Um, they can even be someone that, like, you guys could just be sitting down and they just be in out of space thinking. You're like, hey, what's wrong? What are you thinking about? And they're like, oh, nothing, I'm good, you know. It's just not the most expressive person. So you don't really know how they feel, you know, deep down inside. And that bothers you, the sun. Yeah, that bothers you because you want clarity. You want to know how this person feels. You know, you could even say, you know, I want to make you happy. Like, like what it, what's, what's wrong with you? Why are you so upset? You know, tell me how you feel. You just want clarity. You just want understanding. You just want to know how they feel. Okay? So I'm going to ask Spirit to reveal how they feel because that is like the big question so how does this person feel about the libras how's this person feeling about the libras we do have the two of cups here so this person definitely does feel like this is a soulmate connection they do feel like you guys are very compatible even if they don't say it or show it this is how they feel about you. So you could just be dealing with someone who, you know, has problems showing how they feel. Maybe this person went through past traumas. Maybe they weren't taught to be um, an emotional person. Maybe they weren't taught to show their emotions. We have a lot of broken people in this world. We got a chariot here. This person wants to move forward with this connection. Okay. Three of Pentacles, this person wants us to work. They want to build with you. They're willing to be a team player. Okay, so why is, ah, uh, there it goes, the King of Cups. See, the King of Cups is someone who has a lot of love for you. They love you on a deep emotional level. Like you're really in their heart. But the King of Cups doesn't always say how he feels. So it's like, you see, like when I was younger, I didn't really receive like a lot of affection, right? So I didn't really know how to be really affectionate. I would say my little brother kind of taught me how to be affectionate because I feel like it's very easy to be more loving when you're dealing with like babies, right? They just kind of bring it out of you. I really strongly feel like the person you're dealing with was never like taught to be vulnerable. So it's like in their heart, when they're around you, they're like, man, I really love the Libra. Like, I really care for them. Like, they're amazing. I feel such a strong connection to them. And they're thinking it. But they don't realize that in the moments when they're thinking it, they should just say it. Because they just they just was never taught to, to be that emotionally vulnerable like that, right? And then when you come to them, you say, well, you know, you never really show me love. You never really tell me how you feel. It's, it's like they feel attacked. Because they, in their heart, they're like, but I, I do love you. I do care for you. And, and they may even say to you, well, I'm just not the most expressive person. This is how I am. So if you've been feeling like this person doesn't care, this person does care. With the Knight of Wands here, I feel like with the Knight of Wands, this person is just someone whose energy is very scattered. This person probably has a lot going on. Um, the Knight of Wands, a lot of times, they, they're, not, they're not really ready for commitment just yet because they're all over the place. They have too much going on. Um, this isn't someone who wants to, like, settle and, and be still. This is a person that wants to, like, do whatever. A lot of times when I pull this, this is someone who may have a job that requires them to travel. Like, a lot of times when um, I'm doing private readings and the person's boyfriend or husband is, like, a truck driver, I always pull, like, the night of wands. Um, this is someone who's just constantly on the go. You know what I mean? So it's not that they don't care for you. It's not that they don't love you. It's just that their, their lifestyle is they're constantly on the go, you know? And I feel like for them, a, a relationship is honestly like kind of like a burden, you know. But although they feel that way, they still really do care for you a lot. They still do love you, you know. We do have the Seven of Swords here. So there is some deception. I want to know what this deception is about, though. What's this deception about? The Queen of Pentacles. Could be another person involved, not gonna lie. 
But we do have the Knight of Pentacles, and that, that goes with what I was saying, the commitment issues, being afraid to commit, you know, um, being someone who takes a long time to commit, who takes their sweet time to commit to someone. So before I jump the gun and say that they're dealing with another woman, maybe this is a woman from the past that effed them over. So I'm going to ask for it. Are they currently dating or seeing another woman? death i would say no you know i really feel like this is related to a past person that they were involved with okay i feel like the past person because the queen of pentacles is someone who's very grounded very self-sufficient very independent very much so about her money maybe their past person came off like they didn't need them and that could have made them feel away. Um, I just feel like the person you're dealing with has commitment issues. But I don't think it has anything to do with them not loving you. Them not caring about you. Them feeling like you're not good enough. I feel like this person feels like you're more than good enough. So it's kind of like if you're willing to you know, hang in there with them. I, I do see things getting better. So I am going to end this reading here. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.